right to the door. We'll also go on the right. running again. Folks, there's no subway service in east or west. Nope. There's a supervisor saying there's no subway service east or west. I was boarding the subway north at Young and Dundas and there was one kind of garbled announcement saying there is no service on line two between St. George and Woodbine due to a fire. And the entire time I rode north from there up to Bloor Young, there was no message other than that one. The conductor didn't come on. There was no pre-recorded messages. And as you can see, everyone just got off the train and looked kind of dumbfounded as they headed down to line two. And if I check the TTC's service alerts website, it says no service between St. George and Woodbine due to a fire. Shuttle, shuttle buses are running between St. George and Woodbine. How wonderful. Right at the end of my stream, I made plans that will require me to get on <laughs> line two and go eastbound. I was just recording a live stream right before this. Are shuttle buses running? Once again, the TTC's communication is absolutely atrocious. They're blocking off the stairs here. This guy He's putting a bar in front of it, but there's people going down an escalator that's not working. Got a phone ringing off the hook. Here we go. Well, they've obviously got all these trains in a holding pattern. Notice they said shuttle buses have been ordered. Usually when this happens, you're better off just gambling and waiting on the platform for the trains to resume. But it is 6.19 p.m. Tuesday, August the 6th. And the TTC is doing that thing. It does better than anything else it does, and that is not take people anywhere. Well, maybe the one thing they do better than this is not communicate anything properly. What's funny is I checked Twitter, which is kind of sad that that's often the best place to get TTC info. I don't even use Twitter. And there was someone on there saying they'd been stuck on the bridge at Broadview for about 15 minutes, and this was the first they heard of the delay by checking Twitter. So no announcements on that train, a lot of people just chilling waiting it out. There's probably people upstairs 
Waiting for non-existent shuttle buses. I guess I'm gonna head back up. Hopefully this doesn't last too long. But one thing, why would someone be going down? Oh, maybe I'm the one <laughs> going up an escalator that is normally down. Nobody knows what's going on. I think that just said shuttle buses are operating. One thing that really annoys me about the TTC is how long it takes them to get up and running after any type of stoppage or delay. seems as if every little thing brings the system to its knees for a very long period of time. Right, let's go outside and see what the scene is like on the street. busiest subway station in the network. And it's only line two that's impacted. But that is an enormous stretch of subway. St. George all the way to Woodbine. That guy just said, service might be resuming soon. Shuttle buses have been ordered. So basically he doesn't know anything, but at least he's trying to get out there and communicate with people. I don't think I saw anyone standing outside of the fair gates telling people about the stoppage. Street here is all under construction due to an expansion of the subway platform. That says number two on it, so there is an elusive shuttle bus. Look at all these people. What's up? That shuttle bus is quite packed. I would need an eastbound shuttle bus. And it's not clear where you board those. There's a crowd of people. Over there, I don't really... getting on that. I have a feeling the subway is probably going to resume sooner than later. One thing I think the TTC needs to do after an occurrence like this is be fully transparent and let everyone know exactly what happened and where it happened and that this entire shutdown was justified and handled as effectively as possible. All they said was fire. It might be just someone pulling a fire alarm. And I was like, 
But if you depend on the TTC regularly, this will happen to you more often than I'm sure the TTC would like to admit. It seems to be an almost weekly occurrence when an event like this happens. The good thing about this being Bloor Young is even if the shuttle buses are really busy, a lot of people will be getting off. Obviously, there's a lot more people on the sidewalks than there would normally be. And I'd be curious as to what it's like between here and St. George, but I'm going in the other direction in case I end up on a shuttle bus. My friend's just asking me, is there any update? I wrote none. Shuttle buses, question mark. what the situation is like at the line 2 entrance on Young Street. Are they letting people in? Are they letting them tap in and taking a fare? Maybe they just blocked it off. Line two, no service between Ossington and St. George while we respond to a medical emergency. No service <laughs> between Danforth and St. George due to a fire. Shuttle buses are running, <laughs> so there's no service between Ossington and St. George, and then St. George to. Woodbine, you can't make this up. You just can't. Hopefully that medical emergency is nothing serious, but those are the type of things that really hold up the TTC. I remember when I lived in Seoul, Korea, someone sitting across from me clutched, or they put both of their hands on their chest and they keeled over, and someone pressed the emergency alarm. And at the very next stop, two station attendants met us right at our train door and assisted that person off of the train. And it wasn't even delayed for a minute, and I'm sure that person got the medical care they needed. Whereas here in Toronto, an incident like that would bring the entire network yeah. to its knees for hours on end sometimes. Hey, they got nothing here telling people don't come in. So 
they got no problem taking people's fares. Maybe. It sounds like a train might be running. There's nobody saying don't come in. You're wasting your time and money. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. Let me just see if these trains are air conditioned. Line two. Well, it's kind of dank, but at least it was cool. Well, this escalator is working at least. Sorry for a video that doesn't really go anywhere. started walking east. I've had this happen to me before where I've walked all the way to Greektown. But not everyone has that luxury. is the line one platform. Well, at least they're letting people know at this gate. Kudos to this employee. Let's see if shuttle buses have made an appearance. They were going westbound, but I didn't see any eastbound ones. Is the elevator running though? Uh, line two isn't running. It's not running still? No. Those people all just kind of looked at me. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news.
of westbound shuttle buses. Packed westbound shuttle buses. something very counterintuitive. I am just gonna walk in the wrong direction. See the critical mass of people on Blue Street. There's a helicopter. Head over there. No update to their alerts, nor do they really give any other information. Does say this one was shuttle buses are running. Shuttle bus or more just snaking along. Cars blocking the bike lane. What else is new? Just checking my messages here. There's no cyclists coming. There's a look at everyone waiting. People have resigned themselves to walking. So this is the Yorkville neighborhood. There's anything on Reddit about this? Maybe some more insight. TTC sure doesn't care to share anything more than less than the bare minimum. Fire at Broadview Station. No service between St. George and Woodbine until tomorrow morning. Yikes. When was that posted? There's a lot of people down there waiting. That was posted 22 minutes ago. So what are all those people doing? Still waiting on the train. That's what it says here. The TTC should have 
shepherded everyone off of those trains. Oh, someone, that's a miscommunication. Hey, oh, hello. Hey, a long time viewer. So I found myself on the left side. Swimming upstream, a place I don't normally find myself when I'm walking. Yeah, there's nightly shuttle bus closures. So these people would be waiting here instead of Bay Station. The problem is not a lot of people are going to get off at Bay Station. There'll be a ton of people getting off at St. George up ahead. That's a major interchange. As well as Blue or Young. But here, I think these people are just going to see a jam-packed shuttle bus roll up and they might be able to get one or two people on. Hopefully nobody here is waiting here just going to Blue Young or even Sherburn. If they're able to walk it, or even Castle Frank, it doesn't make any sense. But TTC, where art thou shuttle buses? All I see is a lot of very slow moving traffic. I guess what I'll do is I'll end recording this now and I'll come back and update the status. It is now 6.42. Might be a nice chance to just hang out on a random bench on Bloor Street. And I'll let you know how this resolves itself, if it does. I think my plans are very much in jeopardy now. But anyways, it's just another day in Toronto. Thank you for watching and I guess I'll be back, but who knows when. It is now 6.50 p.m. and apparently I just got a notice that the subway was now running. It says line two service has resumed. Are you waiting for the shuttle bus? It says line two resumed on their website. It, it literally says line two service just resumed. Like I just got a message from my friend saying it's running. So I don't know. They should probably have someone out here announcing it. Thank you. No worries. I guess <laughs> nobody really responded. Hey, just so you guys know, it says the subway resumed on the service. It says line two service has resumed. Okay. Okay. Thank you think you think they would send someone? <laughs> no worries. <laughs> this whole thing's been a joke, really, right? uh, their, their communication is a joke. Yeah, yeah their, their website says it is, and my friend just said they got on at Pate. Yeah, they so. had nobody at the street level to even tell you where they, to go to. <laughs> it's the TTC for you. Yeah. No worries, have a good one. That's what it says on their website. The only thing left to do is go verify this in person. Oh, you know what? This is Bay Station. <laughs> For some reason in my mind, I thought, oh, why not? Let's 
Disco in at Bay Station. I thought I was over at Bloor Young. Yeah, it looks like the crowd of people over there has dispersed. So there's no need to go try to be a hero over there. But let's pop into Bay. Here's some shuttle buses. A lot of them. You think the shuttle bus operator would be telling people, hey, the subway's running, you might want to get off. They're still chock full of riders. If you're going to a nearby station, I guess it makes sense to stay on the shuttle bus. I would think if you're going east of Castle Frank, maybe. This traffic can move kind of slow. Look at that packed shuttle bus. Let's pop into Bay Station. We'll head down to the platform. I could have entered over there on Cumberland. Hopefully I didn't just troll a whole lot of people. Oh, look at this, they've got the gates wide open. Look at these people still tapping in. I should be on my original transfer. We have service, so I'm <laughs> gonna go one stop east. My friend decided to come to this area. Well, I hope you enjoyed this weird, disjointed TTC calamity video. It looks like it was down for about an hour in total. Next train in two minutes. Hey, it just went from two minutes to next train in three minutes. If this isn't busy, I'll get on it. If it's rammed, I'll just walk over to Blue Young. Looks okay. Next 
station is Yang, Yang Station. an hour later and back to where we started. Well, at least they got it back up and running thanks to the TTC employees who were able to make that happen. who left everyone in the dark for so long. But I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support what I do on YouTube. There's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button appearing down below if you wish to say thanks that way. Okay. They say, see it, say it, sort it. Anyways. Thanks for watching, guys.